Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and once again we have a special guest here at Newegg TV and he is JJ. Hello JJ. Hello Paul. How's it going? I'm doing alright boss. Alright, uh, JJ has brought a selection of Asus sound cards here so um, I have to start out and ask JJ, what's your favorite brand, band? My favorite band. Wow, that's that's a really tough one. I mean, pretty actually eclectic when it comes to my music experience. I mean, uh, I'm in everything from you know, uh, from John Coltrane to Smashing Pumpkins to you know, to N.W.A. Man, it doesn't right. matter. I, I'm pretty eclectic when it comes into it. You're a connoisseur. I'm a connoisseur. I'm definitely somebody that really is actually passionate about audio um, across all genres, and that's part of the reason why I was really excited to actually come down and talk about actually about our, our Zonar series of products because we've worked really closely actually with the enthusiast community um, at monitoring kind of their feedback and, and the people that really still care about having a really great sound quality experience on the PC, which is really right now the best platform to experience true high quality, high resolution based material. Yeah, and uh, I know as a lot of you out there, maybe our, our age or thereabouts have gone through for coming from you know, records to tapes to CDs to all digital stuff. Yep. And, you know, you can get MP3s really easily these days, but are you the kind of person who looks at, like, a 128K MP3 and you just sort of cringe like that? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm still one of the people that still love to go out there. I buy all my discs, actually, in terms of still purchasing CDs. I like to rip them, and then if I'm going to, of course, down-convert them, I like to be able to select, you know, what's the choice I'm going to pick? Am I going to do, like, a lame, you know, variable bitrate encoded MP3? Am I going to go with a FLAC file? Can I adjust the compression ratios? Or even if I'm purchasing digital music, there's actually a lot of stuff that I buy digitally, but I'm looking for high resolution. I want better than CD-based format. So, you know, I'll go buy, um, you know, HD tracks, right? You know, uh, Jack White came out with an awesome new album, and uh, I bought it at 24-bit because mm. I, I want the best absolute quality, uh, you know, set of audio. Or, you know, maybe Metallica releases the Black Album, but they release it, you know, in high definition. Or maybe I'm taking a look at Blu-ray and I'm listening you know, to a Stevie Wonder concert you know, in, in multi-channel audio. So um, I'm definitely a fan of taking the best overall sound experience that I can get in any one of the types of ways that it's out there. It doesn't matter whether it's going to be CDs, vinyl, uh, digital format, or still on some type of high-resolution physical media. So if you're into high-quality, lossless audio, if you're an audiophile yeah. like, like JJ, then uh, maybe one of these is right up your alley. So. Um, Let's take a look at these. These are the high-end uh, sound card offerings from Asus. Yes. And um, if you're going to go with one of these, what are the real benefits you're going to get, say, as compared to your standard, typical onboard audio? Well, the, the first thing I want to say, and I think you actually made a good point of it when you talked about like 128K in terms of the MP3, is that, um, you know, audiophiles sometimes has the kind of perception of the term that you have to be somebody that really knows every kind of in and out in terms of getting a better quality you know, sound from your system or knowing mm -hmm. that distinct sound. What I will say is that, you know, a good quality sound card can regardless always um, actually give you kind of an improved perception level in terms of the noise floor. Um, so that's going to be how quiet the overall soundscape is. That's an important kind of element in terms of the detailing that you hear that if you kind of like just you know, put on your headphones or you listen to your speakers, do you hear any kind of like static or like white noise or kind of any like fuzzy detail or do you actually hear kind of just silence? So that's an important element that dedicated solutions always have much better noise floors and that's going to be inclusive on all of these products. Another one is going to be the overall signal and noise ratio um, and also the peak volume levels um, on these are going to be clearer and higher than they are going to be on those solutions. So if you're sometimes finding yourself that the volume range on your, uh, your monitor device or your headphone device isn't sufficient, that's also another area where a sound card is going to give you better support. Um, if you're also somebody that's pursuing higher resolution source material, like I was talking about, whether that's downloading high resolution tracks um, or taking advantage of you know, high resolution uh, discs that are out there, whether it's Blu-ray or things along those lines, um, these type of devices, they're really focused at giving you that best bit perfect playback support. And what I mean by bit perfect is that say, if it's a 24 uh, you know, bit resolution file, this card has been designed for kind of that at maybe like 192 hertz. Mm -hmm. And that's the recording quality. Um, there's different recording qualities that are out there, like a lot of CDs are done like 44, 48 hertz, right? But you have a lot of newer material that's maybe out there at 96 or 128. Um, so that's really upping the overall resolution and the quality of what you have within that disc. And so, as a whole, really what we've tried to do with the Zonar series of products is really tailor them to a specific kind of user and a level of kind of usage 
or, or segmentation. So I think that first off the bat, what we have here on, on this side of the fence is going to be our brand new entry in terms of the kind of the gaming segment. Now we've had gaming Zonar cards out for actually quite some time, and they were predominantly targeted with our Zonar DG, our, uh, our DX, and then uh, like our D2. And these were cards that uh, they kind of hit cross demographic usage. Somebody that was a hardcore gamer, um, they, you know, they really enjoyed kind of hearing good quality positioning, clarity in terms of the, the noise floor was pretty much non-existent uh, in terms of not having noise and then the clarity being present there, as well as having a, you know, better overall dynamic range. So, you know, different rattling, different positioning sounds, different things that are going on were more clearly detailed. But with this card, we really tried to say, okay, let's try to specialize the design, focus more towards the gamer. So this is the absolute highest end card that we offer that's really focused in the gaming segment. Of course, it falls under the ROG branding. So for one, we had to keep the aesthetic kind of styled focused at that. So it's got the classic uh, red and black design that all our ROG products have. Would match perfectly with an ROG motherboard. Yes, it's going to look awesome. But there's some specialized touches that we've also incorporated on here that, you know, that we'll go more into when we talk about the car just by itself. Okay. But, you know, one cool thing that we have here is this little breakout module. And this breakout module is intended for a lot of the actual gamers that are out there that use headphones. Mm -hmm. And if you make a connection to your front audio header, on the actual chassis, a lot of chassis actually um, sometimes have issues in terms of interference, uh, the wiring quality, different variables can, can come play to sometimes add interference or overall noise uh, to your actual headphone experience when you have it connected to the front audio header on a chassis. So this allows you to directly connect it with a high quality gauge cable uh, directly to the graphics card so you can bypass that altogether. In addition to that, you know, it's braided so it's tough so that even if you're like in a LAN environment or in your home, you know, you roll over it with your chair, your dog chews at it, it's still going to be able to take that and be and you know and still be working without a problem but you also got nice little touches like here you can go ahead and you can control the volume you can go ahead and also turn it off and on and there's actually also a microphone that's built in here oh, nice. uh, this microphone actually is designed to process ambient noise so if let's say you're gaming right this microphone is going to pick up the ambient noise in your area and then you can turn the function on or off but it will help to minimize any ambient noise so as that you're talking through your headphone Right, either through let's say a USB enabled headphone, or if you're using a you know a direct microphone headphone that you have connected to here, it will go ahead and filter that to make sure that your sound that's coming through in terms of your voice is as clear and accurate as possible. So instead of doing just normal noise canceling, right, what we're trying to do is process out ambient noise that could be interfering with the actual voice dialogue that you know that you're using when you're in game, whether it's like on something like Teamspeak or Ventrilo or whatever it might be that you're utilizing. Now there's uh, some other specialized game audio technology on here, like we have a uh, Dolby uh, Home version 4.0, which gives us some really nice options in terms of audio positioning and matrixing. Uh, we do offer EAX support through our actual uh, GX-based software, which can do emulation for EAX functionality. And, and all around, in terms of the actual component qualities and the onboard amplifier, it's going to be an awesome sound card for somebody that wants to be able to have the overall best gameplay experience, and they're a hardcore gamer. Now, keep in mind, though, that uh, like all these products that we're talking about, here, um, you know, the, the better quality of headphone you use, even the better quality experience you're going to have. These are premium based sound cards, and the attention to detail in terms of the component choices, whether the, 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 the DACs, like the Burbound DACs that we're using, or the amplifiers, or the special hyper grounding design that we have in terms of isolating analog portions from digital portions of the cards and things along those lines, are going to all be better to be picked up and, and, and and amplified in terms of the experience that you have when you use a great quality sound card. Um, I, I definitely not going to recommend this if you know if you're going out there and you're buying just a, a basic you know forty fifty dollar headset. Um, you know that that could be actually a pretty solid headset. So just really good headsets between fifty to eighty dollars, but they're going to probably better align with getting something like our Zonar. DGX or like a DSX, where you still get a big improvement over onboard sound. Um, but here you're going to want to pair this with definitely a premium quality headphone or monitor solution. Okay, so uh, definitely very tailored towards gamers with those uh, with the feature set that you have yeah. there. But make sure you go with a, a high quality head headset. Yeah. Okay. Um, now moving from there, we've got the Zonar STX. With the Zonar STX, it's very similar to kind of the Phoebus. Um, this card has actually been on the market for a little while, and it was really designed to focus at going over the high-end market that really has a passion to download, like I said, high-resolution content, listen to you know music, movies, and can even use it for different purposes, whether it's you know online uh, you know movie watching, you know whether you're doing Hulu or Netflix, um, or whether you're doing just stuff on YouTube. Um, but it's really focused for people that are taking audio seriously on their PC, and as such, the connectivity really meets that. So if we quickly take a look here at the card in terms of some of its connections, 
you can see here that we don't have kind of the standard uh, three and a half mini jack that you would normally utilize. Now there's an adapter that comes included to give you a little bit more flexibility and that's because the higher end headphones that come on the, on the market are going to have these type of connections available ready to them. Um, now this is the type of card that's really focused at, like I said, people that are serious about stereo content. Mm -hmm. There's not multi-channel support here. Okay. Um, so you do have a digital out that you could go ahead and enable that through, but this is really focused that because the majority of content that's out there is in two channel, mm -hmm. right? Even if you're actually gaming, most gamers are actually using a 2.1 or headphones or just a pair of speakers. And so this card has really been cultivated to give you that best two channel experience. And so that's uh, kind of where the focus is in terms of the Essence and the STX SKU that we have here. And then here on the left, we have the Zonar Essence 1 USB DAC and headphone amplifier. Yeah, this is kind of in a whole other ballpark. So with um, the Essence XTX, we kind of went from the adage that we were really going after a high-end card in the market that was called the Lynx. Uh, which was professionally focused at kind of like content professionals that did uh, uh, playback recording and uh, also uh, monitoring for playback and they were listening back to all this uh, kind of the high resolution material that they were recording. And we wanted to kind of have a card that met that model but at a much lower price point uh, while still offering really high quality playback performance. And the Zonar Essence 1 kind of takes that and mirrored the same uh, marker in terms of a USB enabled DAC. So our goal was to offer um, a very high quality product that met the same performance expectations as a product out on the market called the Benchmark DAC 1, but okay. at a much lower price point. So uh, there are kind of some other really high end USB DACs that are on the market, uh, but you could be looking at like $1,200 to $1,500 in the price point. And uh, the audio files we're looking at hey, I want that level of performance, but at a much lower price point. So we were able to bring all kind of the design benefits that ASUS has as a vendor and be able to bring that cost down. And so here we have essentially a product that's about half the cost, but offering you to that same level of essentially world-class audiophile performance. And this is, once again, for people that are taking um, audio really seriously. Um, it's much larger because if we were to actually take this apart, you, we're going to find that essentially the entire unit has an advanced PCB uh, assembly with essentially 12 op amps in there. So there's a whole bunch of actually specialized components in there in terms of uh, digital DACs, in terms of uh, t trans transcoding your information from digital to audio uh, to uh, excuse me, from analog to digital and vice versa, as well as a lot of specialized power circuitry design here, really is designed to extend and take you to the highest performance markers. Um, now, in terms of the connectivity options, um, this can entirely be used essentially free of a PC. So if you just wanted to go ahead and run into the inputs that we have there, so those digital inputs in terms of the optical and the toss link, you could go ahead and run that from any source, free of a PC, and be able to take advantage of all the high-end audio processing that you have here, and then have either your high-end headphones or have your high-end speakers connected to it, and you'd be good to go. But if you're on the PC side of the fence, of course, all you need to do is just connect that USB cable uh, that we have right there. Yep and have that connected to your PC, and you can take any of that content and have it be processed through here, and then of course listen back on your high resolution, uh, excuse me, listen back to your high resolution content um, on your headphones or your monitors. So you're essentially doing your best to dispel the myth that USB audio sucks. Yeah, I mean, you know, there, there is a perception, I think, in the entry-level scope that some users think that anything that's USB-based is going to be poor quality. But, um, you know, when it comes down to really serious high-grade audio, um, right now pretty much almost all the solutions in the marketplace are USB DACs. Um, and that's just because you really have the flexibility and this external form factor to push the design envelope and be able to bring the highest level of power components um, that can be sometimes much larger. As I'm sure you're feeling, there's a lot of weight to this product. This is a quite a st substantial product. I should tell you guys this weighs at least... I think it, if you gave comparison to some people that know about graphics cards, I think that you could easily say this weighs more than even a dual GPU. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, by quite a bit. So it's a very, very high-end product. This is really intended for users looking for the absolute best in terms of an audio experience on the PC. And it's, it's really it's an outstanding. And it's also a long-term investment. Just like all these cards, this is not something that you're generally going to, year after year, consider that there's going to be an upgrade. Uh, with most of our Zonar, our, many of our products have a life cycle of you know, maybe three, four, maybe even more than that in terms of years before we might consider coming out with a new update to that product. And that's because we put in a lot of work to have this be at a very high quality marker. And even uh, within all, like, all the software for all, for all these packages, they're very slim. Uh, most of these drivers are maybe between um, 7 to 20 megabytes at most. It's a very slim, basic driver designed to be lean, 
uh, not take any kind of obstructive resources onto the system, uh, and designed to give you just the flexibility of enabling that on the system and then having it work the way it's intended. Um, but we do also support specialized functions of modes like ASIO, which is low latency recording functionality for you guys that are interested in content professional uh, playback support or recording functionality. So overall, this gives a little bit, I think, perspective on some of the high-end uh, products that we're offering here in the Zonar space. Definitely some really awesome cards that, for you guys that are serious about having the best quality audio experience, some cool stuff. Very nice. So uh, that's sort of our high-level overview of the ASUS Zonar series of uh, sound cards and sound devices. Uh, once again, this has been JJ from ASUS. And JJ, thanks again for stopping by today. Thank you for having me. And uh, for all of you guys, if you'd like to see more uh, content such as you've seen today, you can check out the New Egg YouTube channel. If you want to see more of JJ and some of his vid videos, you can check out the ASUS ROG YouTube channel. I'm Paul with New Egg TV. This has been JJ with ASUS. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.